Okay, welcome back, friends. It's time for today's Smart Money Minute, brought to you by our friends at Forum Credit Union. Andy Mattingly is back with some great financial advice about budgeting that can help us all, especially during this current season of inflation. Andy, welcome back. Great to be here. Thank you for having me back. You've always got some great advice for us. Um, so let's talk about this. Budgeting and inflation. What are some of the benefits that we can reap when we have a budget? Well, you know, one of the great things about a budget is it helps you focus your money on the necessities. And as those go up, you need to know, you know what you're doing with yeah. those. And it also can help you make, you know, really smart decisions. Because when prices are going up, you also want to make sure that you're not taking too much of your cash flow and using it on other expenses, such as taking on additional debt or buying that bigger car, things like that. So a budget really helps you decide what you can do and how much room you have in your cash flow to do those things. Yeah, you got to be prepared for it because yeah. especially as these costs are going up, now we're suddenly spending more on these basic things that, yes. you know, we got to have room for everything. So yes. let's talk about how can budgeting, and, and this assumes that you have a budget to begin yes. with, okay? Yes. Yes. But how can this help us with this daily struggle as prices increase? Well, you know, one of the great things about a budget is it can help you, you know, like see where you're spending your money. So you know where it's going and that's really helpful. And it also helps us to, you know, kind of determine where you might have blind spots. Mm. You know, you may not think you're spending very much money in a certain category, but because it's often and just a small amount, it adds up. Yes, it does. So that's really important to kind of identify those things. And then it also, you know, a budget has the ability to help you channel other resources around and move them around. So that's some of the, you know, real important things to do. Yeah. It, it, would it be an okay metaphor to see it like the budget is like the bumper rails on a bowling alley? Like they're... Absolutely. Okay. okay. Absolutely. And it doesn't matter how you get it down there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can bounce around on each side, but just staying in those lanes. Yeah, so. it's good to have that boundary. Yeah. yeah. So what are a couple of high level budget moves that everyone should make in your opinion, Andy? You know, I think what everyone should do is make sure they know, you know, use accurate expenses. Okay. So kind of look at what you've done for the last 90 days because we're in a time of inflation. Then start your budget and track it for another 90 days going forward because you'll see how much things, you know, move up. So that's really important to know what you've been spending and, you know, where you're going with that. Then you also need to like hone in on ways that you can you know cut back you know yeah. there's certain things that you may say I am really spending too much money on this mm -hmm. so see if you can move those around those are really important you know things that you can do and finally have a budget reserve and I'm not talking about an emergency fund mm -hmm. but have a budget reserve so that you can kind of pay yourself when you need a little extra money so you don't have to go out and earn any but you start putting some money back because you never know when you have two birthdays and a you know and a, and a big holiday all in the same month and you might spend more going out yes. so you have some extra money to throw in there and you don't have to mess up the rest of your budget that's nice i, I saw one of those notes was working together now if yes. someone is solo they would need a, a financial advisor, advisor to yes. bring that in. I yeah. mean, even some couples are kind of looking at each other like, I thought you were the money person. It's like, well, yeah. let's bring someone from outside yes. in. Um, so let's talk about, I think we, what are some ways that we can improve the budgeting abilities if we struggle with this? Well, you know, one of the things is to not give up okay. when you, you know, and, and realize that you may be taking money from one area or another to, to move there. Yeah. But, you know, it is important that not only do you get some advice to help it, but if you do have a significant other, that you both agree and talk about it. Yes. So it's really important to talk about what you want to do and where you want to spend your money and, you know, and move it forward. But. I think the biggest thing that I always try to tell people is don't be discouraged if you struggle for the mm. first even three to six months when trying to live off of a budget because yeah. you have to kind of find your groove and know where you want to spend your money and where you want to cut back and once you figure that out you can do it. The other thing I always tell people is find a different way to pay for things. Mm. So if you always spend too much online then don't use your credit card. Only use gift cards when you purchase online because you're limited. You bought a $200 yeah. gift card, you're only going to pay $200. You can only buy $200 worth. So that's a great tip. those are different ways that you can do to kind of help yourself with budgeting too. Yeah, that's great. And uh, for more information, you can go to forumcu.com to connect with Andy and the amazing team there. Andy, these are great tips. Thanks so much. I'm learning as I'm going. I'm Gosh, I've, I've been budgeting for a long time and I'm still picking out these nuggets of wisdom that you have for us. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.